I'm just going to show you how I made my little uh, do-it-yourself brine shrimp hatchery. So, I was able to take one liter bottles, cut one, just cut the bottom off it, take the base from another one, cut it to about half. Then I was able to drill two little holes in the bottom of the bottle. Okay, one's a little lower than the other intentionally for me. And what I did is I took the air stones that you probably have laying around. I had a couple old ones and I broke the nipple outside of the stone. So I have this nice little flat side, the rib part for the host to slide onto. I drilled two holes in the cap, see from the bottom side. And all I did is stick the hose through and push these in. And with the hose it makes a nice airtight, watertight seal because it seals off around the hole using the hose itself. And then I have my two holes in the cap. So one hole is going to be to drain, which is this hose. And then the other one's going to be to put air into the bottle itself. Bottle screws on. It didn't take much more than a few minutes to do this. Just pull out my slack of my hose. Now the bottle sits in there nice and tight. Okay, I might have to rotate it a bit. So, I have one hose to drain and one hose to put air. The hose for drain, when I'm storing it or using it, I drilled a little hole in the top just for it to sit inside. And what I did is on the other end, I split off one of my air pumps on the other side over here. And when I need it, I just connect it, to turn it on a bit, start going to going to get some air. Grab some water. Let's see here. You can fill it right up almost to the line as long as it doesn't go past where I drilled to hold the hose. And basically I have that and then the existing cap I cut cut a little slit in it just so this flexes a bit okay I don't know if you can see the cut and then this will simply sit back inside the top because I cut it I'm able to bend it and put it inside and basically create a nice little hatchery so usually what I'll do is get some eggs couple of teaspoons in. So we'll slowly mix in. And I usually like to put some couple tablespoons of marine salt. And just a pinch of some baking soda. And I was told a while ago and it seems to work pretty well. I only want about one to two bubbles per second. I don't want a lot of bubbles. I want to just move in the water. So I'll move my light down. That's what I used to warm it. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe they're better. And I'm going to slow my bubbles down until there's only a couple bubbles a second. Basically the salt's going to dissolve a bit. And these particular eggs, I think, usually take me about 24 to 30 hours to hatch. But I usually get about 95%. The ones I found on eBay, uh, as far as hatch rates go, 95%. So I'll simply put that in, put my cap on, let that go, and 24 to 30 hours later, I'm going to have some baby shrimp. At that point, when I'm done, I'm just going to let this sit. I'll turn off my air. This hose will come out. I'll simply use gravity and drop it down into a bowl, and it'll automatically drain all the shrimp out because the shrimps drop to the bottom and the shells go to the top so what if you have enough salt in there uh, they'll actually float whenever you turn off the air after the, the empty shells so either way that's my hatchery um, it's a lot like a lot of the other ones you see online I just was able to make it out of stuff I had already laying around the house without buying anything and it works really well so there it is but